Australia is insane. Australia, like for how much I hate what the Australian government's doing, I love what the Australian people are doing. They are fuckless. They give not a fuck plowing through police lines and uh, calling them out on, on all this shit. People are a little confused about my stance on this thing because I am very pro-law enforcement. But I'm pro-law enforcement when law enforcement is enforcing the laws that are put in place by legislators. Uh, you, you, you don't blame the police for the laws they need to enforce because you voted for the legislators that made those laws. Now, I know it's not everyone, you know, we've, we've all agreed that we'll do some kind of a thing where the most votes gets this thing. It sucks. And there's a lot of people that go, uh, you know, I didn't vote for that. Well, you agreed on a system where if more people do vote for it, even though you didn't vote for it, you have to kind of accept that that's the way it is uh, in a perfect uh, republic, which this isn't. But that's kind of the arrangement we agreed to. So now you get um, you get police officers that are enforcing laws uh, you might not agree with, but you still have to agree with them. Now, with COVID, it's a different story. These are not laws. Look at this. Look at these fucking animals. Oi! I know they've broken through our lines. I know. They're going through us like a blooming onion. I know. And there they go. They don't give a shit. Good for the Aussies. Now, like people, like I was saying, uh, uh, they, they, I, I, I'm very much pro law enforcement. Uh, I'm not pro enforcing laws that aren't really laws. That's where there's a problem. When, because uh, I've gotten this, like, oh, what happened to comply, Anthony? You're the big comply guy. Just comply with the. And that I even have to explain this is beyond me, but I'll give it a whirl. Like I said, you voted for legislators. Legislators legislate, they write your laws. Those laws are then looked after by law enforcement. They enforce those laws that you, in agreeing with a democracy slash, you know, constitutional republic, you've agreed to abide by the rules that are in place and how these laws are made and enforced. So when you're in a situation where there's a, a legal traffic stop, you've done something wrong, you're being arrested, you might not like it, you might not. You must abide by those rules. You must capitulate uh, and you must comply. Now, when a bunch of unelected officials come up with these, these vague rules that are not laws and they are not constitutional and they are attempting to use law enforcement to enforce these things, then don't comply. Just don't comply. I don't mean start throwing punches. Just don't do it. Enough people stand there and say, no, I'm not doing this. I'm opening my business. I'm not just opening it for people that are vaccinated. I'm not making them wear masks when they... Everyone's got to do that. And that's not complying because it's not a law. You're... you're, you're exercising your freedom as an American citizen to live your life uh, because they're trying to do things outside of that system we all agreed to where uh, legislators uh, make the laws and, and law enforcement enforces them. This has nothing to do with that, with that arrangement that we've made as the populace to uh, adhere to those rules. So that's my stance on that. They're not laws and don't need to be adhered to. That's what it is. Uh, now, Australia, 
They are fucking. I always thought the government in Australia, when they were talking about how they took the guns away, they they had the buyback program. There were like 10 people with guns in the entire fucking giant continent of a country they have. And they bought guns back. And it's like, why can't we do that? All right. Buy fucking three, four hundred million guns back. <laughs> do that. By the way, with what? Our own tax money? Like, we're, but we'd be buying our own guns back. <laughs> the government doesn't have money. They hold our money. And, and, and again, we have an agreement that they're supposed to use our money to benefit us. How it turned into what it is now is beyond me. Should be a revolution. But uh, the idea of them buying our guns back with our own money is a little silly. Australia seemed to uh, be fine with it. They gave up their guns, uh, lickety split. And now they're dealing with a government just, oh, drunk with power. A police force that is enforcing um, things that are not laws at all. Telling people they can't go out. Can't even leave their fucking house. They're stepping up to people that leave their house and go to get into their car, asking them where they're going, what they're doing. That's bizarre to me. And a lot of Aussies are not putting up with it. And, and it, Australia, you're seeing some of the biggest pushback uh, with these things that I think we've seen anywhere yet. Look at this thin line of uh, Aussie cops. And then they're just like, oi, oi, mate. And they run right through. And look at that. That's a beautiful horse right there. And, and then, like, I don't know where they're going. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Once they get past the cops, they just, I guess they just keep running. Is yeah, it's like, keep running. <laughs> Hold on, I. Where are we going? And then they just broke through the police line. But then, yeah, it's like when Beavis gets outside. He just goes, meh, and he rolls over on the ground and just starts rolling around. You're like, well, why'd you want to come out here? <laughs> Peepa spry. Mice. There they go. Whoa, they threw that guy on the ground. And and they're not afraid. Those uh, Aussie cops aren't afraid to beat the shit out of someone either. I've seen some kicks to the head. It's like Mad Max. They don't give a shit. You can't kill me, man. Yeah, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of that. So, you know, they're, they're doing what they feel they need to do down there. And uh, respect, yo. Respect to my Aussie bros down there. Dan Anda. Like Joe Biden calls him. And my friend from down under, because he forgot the name of the Australian um, premier, whatever they call him. Is he a president? I don't even know. He's like, yeah, my friend from down under. <laughs> like, oh, no. Why don't you have a Vegemite sandwich? Gave one a corn pop. Uh, yeah, his stupid Biden. 